back. So this lesson before we actually started, I just added a bit of styling and a bit of HTML. So we have some buttons here and I want to use this lesson to actually send events from these buttons all the way out to the to the albums page right here. So notice right now when I'm clicking, I'm getting three buttons per page. Now some of these buttons need to be grayed out, like you should be able to delete the root. We'll figure that out later, but I just right now you have the buttons available and um, that's what we're going to try and actually make it function. So when we click a delete button, we should be able to delete the actual folder right here. And when we add a new folder, we should be able to add a new folder. And when we upload a file, we need to be able to do that as well. So that's what we're going to start building in the next lessons inside this system. But in order to do this, let's just start out by actually having an overview about what I did. And let's just start out, I added a divider module right here because I need this line right here. And that's a divider inside Angular Material. So that's in there. And then I started using the divider module right here. Now the rest of the code, you can go and just check it out. I added a lot in the header. That's pretty much what I did. And if I right click the HTML file, you can go and say git and compare with the same version from repository. And you can see the differences here if you want to. That's really up to you. But just a bit of uh, HTML hunky bory dinky dory. I don't want to go into that for now. Now what do I want to do? I want to actually do so that when I click a button right here, I want to be able to send that information into the albums list component. So we can start listening right here when we click delete a specific folder or when we click delete a specific uh, add a specific folder, etc, etc. So I want to move that. Uh, I want to add that functionality to the outside. So let's just start out by adding a click here for now. And we're going to say delete folder like this. And I want to kind of send this piece of information to the albums list that I'm going to delete a folder. So let's just go in here. Now we have a problem right now because I don't have the actual folder available right here in the folder details component. I actually have a list of folders and a list of files. That's not quite what I want. So let's just go and change that. Let's instead of doing this, let's actually just pass in a folder. Because when I have the folder, I can actually set the files afterwards, right? So we're going to pass in the input with a single folder that's going to be the main folder right here. And let's just call it main, just like we've done so many other places. I just want to pass in the main folder because now I can actually use that main folder. When I click delete on this one, I'll just delete the entire folder, right? So that'll give us some errors right here because right now we're sending in inside the file system column right here. We're actually sending in folders and files. So let's just change that into main instead. We're going to send in the actual folder here. Let's just remove this guy. And there we go. Now we are sending in the actual folder into a details. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think it makes great sense. Now inside the folder details, what we're going to do is we're going to use this main folder to actually set the information that we need to kind of create this setter right here. We need the folders and we need the files, right? But we're going to do it internally. So I'm going to make a couple of um, properties right here, one called folders, just like we had before, folder array. But notice now it's internal. I doesn't have, it doesn't have any input output. I'm also going to make a files and that's going to be a file array, right? So there we go. And then when we're initializing this, we can actually now go in and say ng on init. We're going to set the folders. They're going to be equal to this.main dot folders, right? So let's do the same thing for files right here. I'll say this.files equal this.main and files like this. There we go. Now I'm getting an error here and that's because the files are a bit more strict than they should be right now. If I go into the file TS file, you'll notice that it says we need all this information, but all I want to kind of use for a file for now is just going to be display name and UID. So I'll just put all the others as optional for now. And then we can get back to actually figuring that out later. But for now, I just want to use these as optionals and then we'll actually accept here that this is a list of files. There we go. So now we have the files and folders available like this instead when we're initializing the application. Let's see if this still runs. So it seems that we're still getting what we expect, right? Nothing new here. Everything's still running. Perfect. So now we've kind of changed the way that the folder structure works. We're only getting in a single main folder and that means now it's available. We didn't have that available before, but now it's available. And that pretty much means that we can now make an output for kind of saying we want to delete a specific folder. So we'll just say delete folder as a new output emitter right here. And then we'll be able to say when we're clicking that button right there, we can actually go into the page right here and say, I just click the delete folder button like this. We can just use the emitter. So I'll just say delete folder dot emit, and then I'll pass in 
the actual folder that I want to emit right here. And that is, in our case, just the main folder. There we go. And that should be all we have to do. Now we can kind of click the folder to kind of emit that to the next level, which is this guy, right? So now we have a way of clicking the delete and that will be emitted to the next level, which is this guy right here. Now he doesn't have any way of handling that right now. So we'll have to kind of make a new event right here that says delete folder, right? And that has to kind of call a next event emitter. Well, we did this earlier, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. I just wanna, I just wanna kind of show you guys. So I'll just say delete folder, delete folder. There we go. Oh, that needs to be a lowercase. Delete folder, now that is available, right? And I can do the same thing right here. I can say delete folder.emit and that event is going to be what we need to emit. And that pretty much means that now when I have that available, I can go into my file system component and do the same thing, right? So I'll do the same thing here. I'll say delete folder. There we go. And then I can kind of do a um, deleted folder here as well, where I can kind of do the exact same thing. So I'm just jumping through the, the hoops of, of this system because I'm trying to make something generic right here. It's kind of what I need to do. So I'll delete folder right here as well. And there we go. Now I can actually all the way up here in my list component, ta-ta, I can go in now and say delete folder inside this guy. So now it also should be available so that I can say delete folder and then we can say folder deleted like this, Del folder deleted. And then we can send in the event again to kind of get the actual folder. There we go. So that's kind of just passing in the data and then we need this function of course. So I'll just put it in here, folder deleted and then we'll send in the folder that we're going to delete and I'm going to do this for all the different functions that I just showed you guys so we can start deleting folders, updating folders, doing whatever we need to do. And there we go, we'll just console log this guy, the delete folder. Actually, I'm going to do something different. Let me put in the debugger just to kind of show you guys that I've not already forgotten about the power of the debugger. Let's just put that in there and let's just try and jump into our code right here. Now it should actually be able to, if I start clicking these guys, if I press the delete here, it should actually pop up with the debugger and show the actual folder of spring 2018. There we go. Let's just try and continue. If I delete this guy, it should actually pop up and show the folder of another folder, blah, 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 blah. There we go. So now we've kind of set that up. Now we need to do it for the other functions as well. So I'll just do that so they are in there for the next lesson. Go and check out this code if you want to and see you next time. Have fun.